In this video we're going to cover how to set up safety for the G120. This video assumes you already have the G120 commissioned and you have the green check mark showing that everything is all set. To start the process you will want to be online with the drive and go to the parameters of the G120. Uh, and then you can select the safety integrated tab and at the top, you want to make sure to press the Start Safety Integrated Commissioning button. This starts the process that allows you to edit the safety settings. If this is the first time pressing it, it will ask you to change the password from zero to something else. Once that's done, you can see that you have the wrench with the little exclamation point saying you are in the safety process. We are going to be doing basic functions, which is just STO. The first button covers your control type. We are going to be doing terminal control. The STO button shows you how STO works along with a indicator light showing if STO is active or not. You can also tie this to an output if you want to tie it to a LED or something to show whether or not your STO is active. The second button is test stop. By default this is 8 hours but you can change it up to 9,000 hours which is roughly over a year. This will trigger an alarm if it hits the amount of hours set uh, and it will tell you that you need to test your e-stop. You can have the test required also connected to an output if you'd like. Um, if you ever hit your e-stop within this amount of time, the time will be reset. And the last button is the discrepancy time, which is the time window that the two input channels need to change in. And then the input filter, which is a debounce time. And that is all the settings for the G120 basic functions. Once you are done configuring the settings, you can press End Safety Integrated Commissioning. It will ask you to copy RAM to ROM, which you want to do, so you can say yes. Once that's done, you can go to your inputs, and you can see in your digital inputs that you have your safety circuit on digital input 4 and digital input 5. And these are both high indicating that the safety circuit is active. Now we will go to the control panel. Activate master control. Hit accept. Give the drive a speed. We'll do 100 RPM. Tell it to go forward. You can see that it's operating, everything's enabled, and the speed is roughly 100 RPM. Now to test the e-stop, you can hit your button that's wired to digital input 4 and 5, and you can see that the drive has stopped. And now you have verified that everything's working properly. That is all you need to do for the safety commissioning for the G120. Thank you.